Hi guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm reviewing Donna Born in Roma Yellow Dream and Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, both by Valentino. And they're both the EDPs. Let's jump into it. These are my little samples. This is Yellow Dream and this is Coral Fantasy. These are both very spring and summer scents. I'm so excited for spring and summer to be here. I want to start with Donna Born in Roma Yellow Dream. The opening on Yellow Dream is like a really strong lemon floral soapy scent. It has a powdery and a muskiness to it. This one smells clean in a natural way because of that lemon and floral. It almost smells like you could smell this out in nature somewhere. Like if you were walking the trails out in the woods somewhere or maybe you were in a field, you could probably smell this on the air. It's not overly soapy, it just has this cleanness to it. All of that is what gives this such a summery vibe to me. There is a gentle sweetness to it. I wouldn't find myself wearing this one so much because the lemon floral powder musk combo is not super for me for like a perfume that I'd want to wear but if you like smelling clean in like a natural fresh way this would be good for you and it's gonna give you like the spring and summer vibes to me it kind of smells like an expensive all-natural hand soap or if you've ever tried that Watson's lemon body wash it kind of smells like that because it does have a bit of like a sweetness and creaminess to it a little bit yeah that just reminds me of that I used to have that body wash there is also a bit of a, a warmth to it that for someone this probably could be a comfort scent for them especially if you do like a clean perfume for me I could smell the wholeness of this perfume for a good three hours I only had it on my skin as a skin scent, it turns to like a softer, delicate, powder sugar floral scent, still with that bit of cleanness to it from the lemon. And at that point for me, it was like a skin scent. Yeah, it's a pleasant scent. I don't find it to be like a perfect scent for me, but I would like smelling this on someone else. Before I get to Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, I just want to mention where I get my samples from. I'm not sponsored or anything, I just want to share it in case somebody wants to check it out. So I get all my samples from microperfumes.com and you can get those tiny samples that I showed at the beginning of the video and also like travel sizes and full bottle sizes from there. And then they come in this box and inside they're all in this tiny plastic sealable bag. It comes with a card. That'll give you a little deal if you order again. It's just like a thank you card. And then it's also nice because on the back of this box, it has a QR code that you can scan to get fragrance details of the samples you ordered. So you don't have to like try and search through your emails or whatever to find the information of what you got. Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. The opening is this fruity... Kiwi orange citrus floral musky powdery soapiness and it's not too orange. For me, orange can give me a headache. The scent of orange, if it's too strong, I can get a headache from that. Not everybody is going to be sensitive to it, but I am a bit. So I was happy to find that it wasn't too orange, especially after the opening fades. That like soapiness kind of softens up a little it still smells clean but the soapiness isn't so strong and neither is like the citrus part of it I asked my husband to smell it and he said he wouldn't even say citrus he would say more like a juicy fruity cleanness what's funny to me is this one when I first put it on I was like oh this is definitely gonna be a skin scent so after the opening this is a slightly sweet, refreshing, summery scent. 
in a way like it gives a beachy vibe to me so i think coral fantasy is is a good name for it it does give me like a beachy feel you can smell the kiwi in more of an airy way after the opening fades it has a clean airy juiciness to it and it made me think of like those snapple drinks kind of it's very like juicy and refreshing that way and it would be so nice on a hot summer day i think to spray this one on yourself i put this one on at around nine in the morning we took a drive to my husband's grandparents farm and that was about an hour drive i could smell it on me in the car this one i did put on my shirt i don't usually do that with these little samples but i put this one on my shirt because I was going to go somewhere and be around people and this does smell like a pleasing scent. And we were there all day and all afternoon. I could smell this around me as I was moving around the farmhouse, as I was talking, I could smell it around me. I will mention my husband does really like this one. So we get back home at about 7 p.m. I was rocking my son to sleep in our rocking chair and then I put him in his bed. The next morning I get up and I hold my son and his head smells like this perfume. So this perfume transfers to other people and it is a very pleasant scent. So on skin, you know, after all that time had passed, it is like a very close skin scent. And on clothes, it does give a bubble and also can transfer to things or people. So... <laughs> Yeah, I feel like you would really like this one in the summer. I feel like people could like both of these in the summer. It just depends on what your tastes are. So Yellow Dream is definitely more of like the lemon floral out in nature scent. And Coral Fantasy is way more of like a juicy drink with still that cleanness to it, keeping it from smelling too much like a drink. But that one I found to be um, really refreshing and nice. I do really like that one. So that's my review on those two Donna Born and Romas. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day or evening. Looks like it's tilted funny. Is it tilted funny?